Have you ever wondered if the stories you've heard about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch are exaggerated? What if you were told that much of what you think you know is a lie fabricated by the media? There is indeed a massive accumulation of plastic debris circulating in the North Pacific Ocean, but its true nature may surprise you. In this first episode of the Daily Hits series, we will peel back the sensationalism and share the reality of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. By the end of this episode, viewers will have a solid understanding of what the Garbage Patch truly is. First, let's tackle the biggest misconception, that the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a giant island of trash you can see from space. This simply isn't true. While there are large concentrations of plastic fragments floating in the North Pacific Ocean, you wouldn't be able to see them from a plane or satellite photo. The debris is spread over an area twice the size of Texas. So what exactly is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? It's more of a plastic soup than an island. The trash, mostly microplastics, float just below the surface, evading detection. But the plastic is there. Scientists estimate there are at least 79,000 tons of ocean plastic within the 1.6 million square kilometer garbage patch zone, and the amount is growing every day. To visualize what 79,000 tons of plastic looks like, picture over 2,000 full garbage trucks. Now imagine all their contents dumped in the ocean and spread over an area larger than Alaska. That should give you a sense of the sheer volume of plastic swirling around in the Pacific. And where is all this trash coming from? The simple answer is us. Almost every piece of plastic entering the ocean gets captured in oceanic gyres where circular currents swirl. The North Pacific Gyre is one of five major gyres that trap and circulate ocean plastic. Over time, the plastic breaks down into tiny fragments called microplastics, some too small for the naked eye to see. But it's still there, absorbed by sea life and making its way up the food chain back to us. The garbage patch wasn't always this way. There are no historical records of significant plastic pollution prior to the 1940s. So how did we get here? The rise of single-use plastics in the second half of the 20th century sparked the epidemic. As consumerism boomed in the post-war era, so did plastic production. Today, about 300 million tons of new plastic is produced annually, and a staggering 8 million tons enter the ocean each year. Once in the ocean, plastic never fully biodegrades. It just keeps breaking into smaller and smaller bits over hundreds of years, meaning every piece of plastic ever created still exists in some form today. The contents of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch are a grim reminder of the permanence of plastic and the consequences of rampant consumerism. But if the Garbage Patch has been accruing plastic for over 70 years, why are we just hearing about it now? While the trash vortex was first discovered in 1997, it took over a decade to conduct rigorous scientific studies mapping its extent. The lack of early publicity enabled myths about the Garbage Patch to spread. In the 2000s, exaggerated claims of a giant island of trash started circulating. These false yet captivating stories went viral, fueling the myth. It wasn't until recent years that quality scientific research revealed the complex reality, a dispersed soup of plastic particles circulating below the surface. Yet even with better scientific understanding, images of beaches buried in plastic debris continue to perpetuate the myth. Photos of trash-covered shores in Southeast Asia frequently accompany stories about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, but these are two distinct phenomena. Coastal pollution from mismanaged waste is highly visible. The nearly invisible garbage patch thousands of miles away is less photogenic, making for less tantalizing clickbait. The sensationalism stems from good intentions, to raise awareness about the shocking amounts of plastic entering our oceans. But misleading representations can backfire. Exaggeration leads many to think the garbage patch is a lost cause too massive to tackle. This simply isn't true. The plastic pollution crisis is solvable if we work together. So now that the reality of the situation is known, let's talk solutions. How can we stem the tide of trash entering our oceans? Policies to limit single-use plastics help. Improving waste management infrastructure also goes a long way, especially in developing nations. 
but we can all make an impact through mindful consumer choices. Rethink your relationship with plastic. Choose reusable options whenever possible. Recycle properly and participate in cleanups. Support brands that use eco-friendly packaging. Together, through everyday actions, we can help ensure there is no garbage patch kids generation. Tiny changes in our habits can make waves of impact. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch may seem like a vast, hopeless problem, but it was created by human actions and can be mitigated the same way. Viewers now know the reality of the situation. With this knowledge comes the power to make positive change. Check out the next episode of The Daily Hit, where we will explore the origins of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and how we got to this state of plastic pollution. Titled Episode 2, Origins, How Did We Get Here? We will take a deep dive into the history of single-use plastic and the post-war rise of rampant consumerism that led us down this plastic path. How exactly did we go from a world with minimal plastic waste to the current crisis in barely a generation? What key events and innovations sparked the exponential increase in plastic production? Were there early warning signs that went ignored? In the next episode, we will uncover the true roots of the plastic pollution epidemic. Understanding where we've been is key to mapping where we're headed next. Join us as we reveal the past so together we can build a better plastic-free future. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch may seem vast, but it's not too late to turn the tide. Be sure to subscribe and check out the next episode in our series only on The Daily Hit. Let the search for solutions continue.